I've spent the past six months developing something that I wasn't sure was going to work. And the fact that I can sit here today and tell you that it's finished and it works properly is really hard to convey on the video. What I've been building is an AI personal trainer. Now everyone has been seeing AI personal trainer all over their social media feeds like LinkedIn. An AI personal trainer will benefit you like this. AI personal trainers will revolutionize this. They can save this much money, they can do this, 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 that. Yet no one actually knows for sure because no one's actually built one. And so in September of last year, I decided, well, I'm gonna build one. I thought in my head it would be pretty easy because all I needed was a knowledge base and a bot. But it was a lot harder than I thought it was, which is why this took six months. I'd love to tell you the story about Sweatbot, but I'm sure most people are here to see if the bot works and if so, how it works. By the way, if you're interested to know how Sweatbot works, my next video is going to be a little bit of a showcase to show what's going on behind the scenes. Alright, so here we are. We'll just start it off like usual. Say hi, welcome to Sweatbot. I'm gonna log in because I already have a user. My username is Platinum. Hello, Mr. Platinum. Please enter your passwords. You have three uh, password. You have three attempts remaining. This is part of my login system bot that I did a couple months ago. I made a video about that. It's been advanced a lot. I'm gonna make another video on it because it's changed so much. But that's what did it. Enter your password. My password is just go. That doesn't matter. Hello, I'm Sweatbot. How can I help? First off, we agreed with three different uh, options. Sweatbot is structured where everyone has three different workout plan slots. They're all empty by default, but my user has a few for this demonstration. Now, we can ask Sweatbot a question about fitness or whatever, or we can generate a workout. So, I think the first feature I'll show is the biggest feature, and that is how Sweatbot generates AI workout plans. And I would ask me, in which of my workout plan slots would you like to generate the AI plan? So, as you see, I have an arm focused week, I have a leg focused week, and I have an empty plan here. So, I'm going to put the empty plan to generate the workout plan in. How many days would you like a workout plan to be? Max is 10. So, I'm going to say normal week is seven days. I want to take two rest days. So, I want a five day workout. And now it's time for the prompt. So it says to give Sweatbot a general idea of who you are and your goals. So this is an example one of my friends gave it. He says, I'm a rugby player. I want to stay fit, but also gain muscle on my legs, quite specifically for scrums and be quicker. I also want to be more explosive in my legs. Obviously, he's on a rugby field. He needs to be quick. And now just some general guidelines, like who you are. For example, he's a rugby player. If now available equipment. Maybe he has free weights. Maybe he only has sports equipment. Maybe he has a home gym. Maybe he has nothing. Or maybe he can only do body weight exercises. It's important to specify. And then what you hope to achieve, like your goal, like bigger legs, stronger shoulders, and he wants to be faster. For the sake of saving time, I'm just going to copy his. This can take up to one minute, but it only takes about 20 to 8 seconds usually. And here's what it recommends. On day one, we see we have quite a few leg exercises, one shoulder exercise, and another exercise, which is pretty good for explosiveness. Day two, we have deadlift, pretty important for the back, more legs, squats, arm press, shoulders. As you can see here, it's mainly focused on legs and shoulders since we asked for that. Now, don't worry, Sweatbot isn't just making up that this is the best exercises for my friend. He knows it is the best. Sweatbot has a massive database. It's 6,300 pages and it knows what is best for what scenarios. We had to take every single exercise that existed, like every single variation of push-up, like diamond, archer, uh, conventional pike push-ups. It had to know about every single exercise that existed, which is why it's so long. Then it needed to know why some exercises do some muscle groups better. I gave it graphs, I gave it uh, graphics, so that it knows exactly what exercises are better for other things. Let's say for example, a conventional push-up versus a pike push-up are very different in the sense that they train different muscles. So the pike push-up is shoulder focused, meaning that when you do it like this, it's much better for your shoulders and it's not that good for your chest. How much better? We don't know because everyone's anatomy is different. Versus a conventional push-up is more chest focused, specifically more upper chest focused, and a pipe push-up is more focused to the middle delt. It had to know about every single exercise and how it's all different, which is one of the reasons that this took so long because finding all that data took about a month and a half. So that is how you know that Sweatbot is very, very accurate. I've showed this to my friend and he said this is very, very similar to what they actually exercise. All right, so now that we have our plan, let's add some rest days. Set it like there. Add rest day, and it's gonna say after which day would you like to add your rest day. So let's say day one is Monday and day five is Sunday. So let's say we wanna have a rest day on Wednesday, which means we have to add a rest day after Tuesday. So we say 
we would like to add a rest day after Tuesday, day two. So we can call day two. And there we go. Now it's gonna say that after day two, we have day three. And I will add our last rest day. Let's say we'll add that on Saturday, so after day five. And there we go, now we, have, now we have a rest day on day six and day three. So this is like a complete week. Of course, you can make it like 10 days and then you add your rest days. You can two do two week split, but let's say my friend says, you know what, I really don't like doing leg press. All right, so now we're gonna remove an exercise from day one. So we're gonna say we wanna edit our plan, we wanna remove an exercise, and we'd like to remove an exercise from day one because leg press is on from day one. And here it gives us all the exercises that we have in day one, leg press and under salt press, and we wanna remove leg press. And there we go, as you can see now, leg press is removed from day one. But now let's say my friend wants to do something on one of his rest days. He doesn't just wanna do nothing, he wants to do at least one exercise. So he's gonna say add exercise, and then he wants to add an exercise to day six because that's one of his rest days. And then it asks him what exercise he would like to add. Now let's say he's not entirely sure, you know, he knows he should do something, but he has no idea what. So he's gonna say get an AI recommendation. And now it asks for his criteria. So the example is, I'm looking for some tricep exercises. I don't have access to a gym. What are the best muscle building exercises I can do with running dumbbells? But let's say he wants to do some shoulder exercises. And here it recommends him dumbbell shoulder press, three sets of eight to 12 reps. Now here he has an option. So he can say he'd like to generate another exercise with a different criteria. He can ask a question. He can say, you know what? I don't want to do that recommend me something different with the same criteria. You can use this exercise or you can just discard it all together. I said this is pretty good, so I'm gonna say use this exercise. And there we go. Now on day six, instead of doing nothing, he's doing dumbbell shoulder presses, three sets of eight to 12 reps. So now let's say, you know what? He wants to do something more. He wants to add another exercise. So add exercise. Let's say this time he'd like to add something to his third day, which is also a rest day. So add something to day three. And now let's say he knows exactly what he wants to do. So he wants to do sprints. And I would ask him how many sets and reps he would like to do. So I'm not really sure, I've never done sprints. So I'm just gonna say two sets till failure. And I automatically had added it to day three, sprints, two sets till failure. The bot automatically takes what you said for its reps and sets question and it formats it so that it fits. Hey, sorry guys, bot press is just all over the place today. So I'm just gonna do it here in the emulator. It should be fine. All right, so let's say that when you're all said and done, your workout plan looks like this. But as you see here, our name of our workout is still empty one. It's kind of boring. So we're gonna say a change name and then let's change it to something like rugby players workout. And there we go, here are our current workout plan. We have our rugby players workout, we have our arm focused week, and we have a shoulder focused week. So let's say we'll select our rugby players workout and let's change a last few things. Let's say we just like remove day six because we're not doing anything there. So we're just gonna remove day six from our list and then we're pretty much satisfied. So what we'll do then is that we will say, email my plan to me. Because you don't wanna sign in every single time that you just wanna look at your workout plan. And then we just need to give it our email address, so I'll give it mine. And there we go, our workout plan has been emailed, so let's see what it looks like. And here we have it, your optimized workout plan has arrived. And there we go, now you can just check your emails instead of having to log into the bot every single time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. It has been a massive, massive privilege to show you guys this. It has been so, so much work. This has been a really, really fun project. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with Sweatbot. I'm not sure what I want to do with Sweatbot, but I don't really mind because I find it really useful in my personal life. Stay tuned for the next video because that is going to be going behind all the good stuff of Sweatbot, all this code, all this work that I've put in. You guys are going to be seeing how this thing is put together. See you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Cheers.